to determine angle of minimum deviation for a given prism by plotting a graph between angle of incidence and angle of deviation. To determine the refractive index of the material glass of the prism. The phenomenon of deviation of light ray from its path when it travels from one transparent medium to another transparent medium is called refraction of light. Madam, how can we find the refractive index N of the material of the prism? The refractive index N of the material of the prism is given by mu is equal to sine A plus delta M by 2 divided by sine A by 2 where delta M is equal to angle of minimum deviation and A is equal to angle of the prism. Our aim here is to determine angle of minimum deviation for a given prism by plotting a graph between angle of incidence and angle of deviation. To determine the refractive index of the material glass of the prism. Apparatus required are Drawing board, a white sheet of paper, a glass prism, drawing pins, a pencil, half meter scale, office pens, a graph paper and a protractor. Procedure First of all, fix a white sheet of paper on the drawing board with the help of drawing pins. Draw a straight line x, x dash parallel to the length of the paper nearly at the center of the paper. Mark points Q1, Q2, Q3 on the straight line x x dash at suitable distances of about 5 to 6 cm. Draw normals N1 Q1, N2 Q2, N3 Q3 at points Q1, Q2, Q3. Draw straight lines P1 Q1, P2 Q2, P3 Q3 making angles of 35 degree, 40 degree, 45 degree with the normals and write value of the angles on the paper respectively. Mark one corner of the prism as A and take it as the edge of the prism for all the observations. Place the prism with its refractive face BC on the line. X, X dash and point Q1 in the middle of BC. Mark the boundary of the prism with a pencil. Fix two office pins P1 and P2 vertically on the line. P1 Q1. The distance between the pins should be about 10 cm or more. Look the images of point P1 and P2 through face AC, closing your left eye and keeping right eye open. Fix two more pins P3 and P4 vertically about 10 cm. Apart, keeping left eye close and right eye open in. Such a way that the tips of the images of pens P1 and P2 and tips of pens P3 and P4 lie in a straight line. Remove the pens and encircle their pricks on the paper. Draw a straight line through points P3 and P4 which meets the refractive surface AC of prism at point R1. The line R1S1 represents the emergent ray. On producing the line, P1Q1 and R1S1 meet at point F1. The angle subtended between the direction of incident ray and the emergent ray is called angle of deviation. Repeat steps 7 to 14 for different angles of incidence. Record angle of deviation for different angle of incidence and record them in tabular form. Measure the angle of prism A from the marked boundary of the prism. Observation Angle of prism A1 is equal to x in degree A2 is equal to x in degree A3 is equal to x in degree 
mean value of the angle of prism A is equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3 divided by 3 is equal to x plus x plus x divided by 3 is equal to x in degree. Table for angle of incidence and angle of deviation. Serial number of observations, angle of incidence, angle I, angle of deviation, angle delta, 35 degree, 40 degree, 45 degree, 45 degree, 50 degree, 55 degree, 60 degree. Result. The graph between angle of incidence I and angle of deviation delta shows that as the angle of incidence increases gradually, the minimum angle of deviation decreases, attains a minimum value delta M and then increases for further increase in angle of incidence. The minimum angle of deviation delta M is equal to X, the refractive index of the material of the prism. Mu is equal to x precautions the angle of incidence should lie between 35 degree to 60 degree the pin should be fixed vertical the distance between two pins should be about 8 to 10 centimeter the same angle of prism should be used for all the observations encircle the pin pricks after they are removed draw the arrow to indicate the direction of incident the refracted and the emergent rays. The curve should be freehand and smooth which should pass through the maximum number of points. The pencil which is used to draw boundary of the prism should be sharp. Sources of error. The angle may not be measured properly. The pin pricks may be thick. The incident ray pins and emergent ray pins may not be along the same straight line. The pins may not be exactly vertical. Thank you, ma'am, for this knowledgeable experiment.